Report. U.S. addresses loopholes and restrictions on AI chip exports to China. Hey there, welcome back to another episode of China Record. So, here's the scoop. The U.S. is gearing up to stop local chip makers from selling semiconductors to China that get around government rules. This is all part of the Biden administration's upcoming plan to put a stop to more AI chip exports. Now, these new rules, which are being reported by Reuters for the first time, are going to add to the already pretty extensive U.S. restrictions on shipping advanced chips and chip-making gear to China that were announced last October. We're expecting these updates sometime this week, but you know how these things go, schedules can change. But it does make you wonder, why is the administration making this move now? AI Chips An anonymous official has indicated that the upcoming regulations will ban certain AI chips that just barely fall short of the current technical standards and will mandate that companies disclose other shipments. In the previous year, government restrictions prevented NVIDIA, the leading chip maker in the world, from delivering two of its most sophisticated AI chips to clients in China. These chips have set the industry benchmark for the development of chatbots and other AI systems. But NVIDIA soon released new variants for the Chinese market that were less sophisticated and got around the U.S. export controls. One, named the H800, has as much computing power at some settings used in AI work as the company's more powerful but blocked H100 chip. Still, some key performance aspects are limited, according to a specification sheet seen by Reuters. The U.S. now plans to introduce new guidelines for AI chips that will restrict certain advanced data center AI chips that are not currently captured, the U.S. official said. The updated rules also are meant to cover AI chips as technology evolves. The U.S. will require companies to notify the government about semiconductors whose performance is just below the guidelines before they are shipped to China, the official said. The government will decide on a case-by-case -case basis whether they pose a national security risk, but they can be shipped unless the chipmaker is told otherwise. The updates to the October 2022 rules may also close a loophole that gives Chinese companies access to American artificial intelligence chips through Chinese units located overseas, as Reuters reported last week. The rules are not expected to include restrictions on access to U.S. cloud computing services or those of allies, but the U.S. will seek comments on the risks of such access and how they might be addressed, the official said. The Biden administration told Beijing of its plans to update the contentious rules this month, Reuters reported earlier in October, as part of a policy aimed at stabilizing relations between the superpowers. What's his AI chip? The history of the artificial intelligence, AI, chip is a fascinating journey that has seen numerous advancements and innovations. The concept of AI was first introduced by scientists John McCarthy, Claude Shannon, and Marvin Minsky at the Dartmouth Conference in 1956. As AI evolved, it led to more specialized technologies, such as machine learning, which relied on experiential learning rather than programming to make decisions. Machine learning, in turn, laid the foundations for what became deep learning, which involves layering algorithms in an effort to gain a greater understanding of the data. In the 1980s, we saw the rise of the personal computer. This proliferation was enabled by the CPU, Central Processing Unit, which performs basic arithmetic, logic, controlling, and input, output operations specified by the instructions in a program. Then. In the 1990s, real-time 3D graphics became increasingly common in arcade, computer, and console games, which led to an increasing demand for hardware-accelerated 3D graphics. NVIDIA rose to meet this demand with the GPU, Graphics Processing Unit, specialized in computer graphics and image processing. While typically GPUs are better than CPUs when it comes to AI processing, they're not perfect. The industry needs specialized processors to enable efficient processing of AI applications, modeling, and inference. As a result, chip designers are now working to create processing units optimized for executing these algorithms. However, the development and distribution of AI chips have become a contentious issue in recent years. The United States has been reducing the types of semiconductors that American companies will be able to sell to China. 
advanced artificial intelligence chips, such as NVIDIA's H800 and A800 products, will be affected. The regulations also expand export curbs beyond mainland China and Macau to 21 other countries with which the United States maintains an arms embargo. The reason behind this move is rooted in national security concerns. The Biden administration has said it designed the export curbs to keep U.S. chips and equipment from strengthening China's military. Beijing has accused the United States of abusing export controls to suppress Chinese companies. The restrictions marked a historic shift in U.S.-China tech policy. In conclusion, while AI chips have revolutionized technology and hold immense potential for future advancements, their distribution and use have become entangled in geopolitical tensions. As we move forward into an increasingly digital age, it remains to be seen how these issues will be resolved. Thank you for watching my video on China Record. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Your support means a lot to me and encourages me to bring more new episodes. If you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a comment and share it with others. Stay tuned for more exciting content.